So when doing lactate testing in cyclists, let's take a step back again, besides the methodologies that you're using, and let's ask ourselves, hey, what does an athlete actually want from this test? Okay, so what comes to mind? Benchmarking. An athlete wants to understand, did I improve compared to last year or to the last test, to the previous training period? Did the last months of work that I put in, of scarce time that you know I shave off my daily busy schedule, did that result in the progress that I wanted to see? And the thing that most people do for that is looking to the lactate curve and see if it shifted to the right. And I'm going to draw one here in a second, okay? Now let's ask ourselves, is that re how relevant is that really to performance in cycling races, different cycling races? How important is that for example, gravel races or Gran Fondos. You could argue that for those kind of races, for a recreational amateur athlete, something like substrate utilization, you know, carbohydrate combustion rate, fat combustion rate, sparing glycogen, is far more important than a lactate concentration. So this information by itself is not necessarily inherently visible here in this lactate profile curve.